Solomon said in Ecclesiastes 3, To everything there is a season and a time, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to laugh and a time to cry. Well, my dear sister, it was your time to die, and it is our time to cry. As we express the grief we feel inside, that flows from our heart like a river tide, we pour out of our lips the words we know that one day we would have to say, but never wished it would be today. Yet, here we are. In fact, here I am, on this side of the veil. Though this day is one in which sadness prevails, there are bright lights for me along the trail which I journeyed with my sister Naomi, that made me smile and know that while this day may be one that is sad, I still have the memories, treasuries of times where I sat with my friend, holding discussions on biblical events. We shared our stories, our life's problems, the successes, the failures of our children. We laughed, we cried, we remembered when situations changed every now and then. We disagreed. Our points we will viciously defend, neither one of us choosing to bend to admit we were wrong, but our friendship remained strong until the very end. For I loved my sister without bounds, and though in physical we must part, you will always be here in my heart. So rest well, my sister, sleep on till time is no longer, till finally you behold the face of the Master whom you shared with others, our loving Saviour, Jesus the Messiah, the only begotten of the Father, our heavenly brother, forever and ever. Amen. So goodbye, my sister and my friend. Greetings to all. My name is Jocelyn James Ransom, and I met Norma, and that you know at that time we would call her Alexis, in the year 1975, we used to play netball together at the, you know, at the Diego Martin government school grounds. At that time, she worked at the Bel Air garment factory. And you know, she, my impression of her was that she was always a strong, independent woman. You know, and these are characteristics that she passed on to my friend, her daughter, Faida. You know, as life would have it, you know, that after that period when we, we played together, you know, we, you know, you lose contact with, with people. But whenever we met over the years, it was always with, you know, a pleasant greeting. She would always greet me with a big smile, you know, and, you know, show that she was glad to see me. And one of the things that stood out with, you know, with stood out for me with Norma was that she was always willing to share her faith. You know, that was important to her, you know, that, that she was... You know, firmly rooted in, in, in the Lord, and she was always willing to share that. You know, as Paul said, to be absent from the, the, the body is to be present with the Lord. You know, and I think we can be comforted knowing that Norma Alexis is with the Lord, that she has made it home. You know, and it would be, you know, it, it would be important that we who are still here would take note of that. Paul also said to work out your salvation with fear and, trembl and trembling. So, you know, we have the opportunity to do that, you know, and um, so let's be thankful that Norma made it home, that she is with the Lord. And I send blessings to all present. Gabby, I'm Moses' great granddaughter, and I'm Morda's daughter. Um, I didn't know Mums very well, but the times I did meet her, she was very warm and very inviting, and she will be missed greatly.
is Tim. I'm the father of Gabby and husband to Warda. Uh, I knew mums in for a very, very little bit, but I can tell you mums always lit up a room. You know, when we played cards, I was her boy. Uh, mums will be missed. And I think uh, everybody can appreciate the, the energy she brought into everybody's lives. If flowers grow in heaven, then, Lord, pick a bunch for me and place them in my mother's arms and tell her they are from me. Tell her that I love her. Tell her I miss her so. And when she turns and smiles, place a kiss upon her cheeks and hug her dear Lord for a while. Mom, I love you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi everyone. I am Warda James Hester, Norma's eldest granddaughter. And I just want to say a few words for my grandmother. The interactions that I've had with her over the years have always been loving and positive. And that is what I would like to take with me, um, thinking about her and, and her memory. Mom's to me was always the fun grandmother. I would always love it when my mom would take us up there to visit her in Mount Hope um, over Easter vacation or summer vacation um, because it was always such a treat to see her and to see Jason and just having that interaction, especially not coming from a particularly large extended family. It was just always, you know, such a great time and such a great opportunity. And moms really had an infectious laugh, a laugh that um, apparently others have said that I and my mom have in inherited. So I guess that's something we will take with us from her but also um, extremely proud of all the things that moms have accomplished over her life, just kind of given her situation and upbringing and the fact that she had to work very hard for what she wanted in life. And one of the things that I am still to this day extremely proud of her is that in her 60s, um, she was able to pretty much go back to school and get her um, passes, you know, and go to university and get her bachelor's degree. Not much people her age you see doing that. And I always tell my daughter about that, you know, her perseverance and her willingness to learn, you know, learn new things, do new things. And I see a lot of those qualities in myself and I thank moms for indirectly passing that that on to me and I will take that with me I will pass it on to my children and grandchildren and so on and so forth moms we love you and we miss you sleep in peace hi I'm Benjamin and I'm going to play Seeky first and this song is Dedicated to my granny.
by Michelle, Jason's wife. Although I never got to travel to Trinidad to meet Miss Norma in person, I did get to know her a little bit through calls and chats. From my interactions with her, I could tell that she was a caring woman of God. Over the years, she would send inspirational messages, Bible study videos, and check up on Jason, the boys, and I. I could also tell that she truly cared for and appreciated her children, as she would sometimes tell me about the good times she had with her daughter and grandchildren, or express her thanks for something one of her sons cooked for her or sent her. I know it's not easy to lose a parent, a loved one, or friend, but I pray that everyone today may be comforted by the hope that we will one day see her again in the new earth. I pray a blessing on everyone here today, and I hope that God comforts you as you enter this new journey of life. My name is Lisa. Technically, you didn't know me, and I didn't know you, but I do. I know you through your son, Jason. He is an amazing person and an amazing boss. He is a true entrepreneur, as you were. He is also a very, very caring person, as I'm sure you were. He's also an honest person, a person who truly embodies ethics and straightforwardness. You can trust him and you can depend on him. And I know that you were as well. So many of the good qualities that I see in him I know that they are because of you. So I wanna thank you for all that you have modeled for him, all that you've shown him, all the examples you've given him, the lessons you've taught him, because you have created a great human being. He is a wonderful legacy to who you were as a person and as an entrepreneur. One of the most um, solid proofs of that is the fact that he is very open-minded and it must be because you were also open-minded and a real Christian at heart because I'm not, I'm Jewish and we work together by the grace of God for the glory of God and that takes a person who is truly um, compassionate and truly understands that we are all the same. And again, that was something that you taught him. So I would like to offer a prayer to you. It's the prayer of compassion for because God is compassionate, the prayer of compassion, the prayer of mercy that we say at times like this, in the Jewish tradition. God of mercy, who dwells above, give rest on the wings of the divine presence amongst the holy, pure, and glorious who shine like the sky to your soul. Therefore, the merciful one will protect your soul forever and will merge your soul with eternal life. The everlasting is your heritage and you shall rest peacefully at your lying place. And let us say amen. Again, thank you and God bless. Hi, my name is Avery and I'll be playing as a deer panted on the water in dedication of moms.
Good morning, everyone. The year 1988 was special for me. It was when I first met my dear friend and sister in Christ at the front of the congregation where we recited our baptismal vows. I remembered accidentally stepping on her foot and turning back to apologize to her. If only I had known that this was God's way of bonding two friends together, a relationship that lasted to the very end. A friend indeed she was, always there for me and my children in good and bad times. She was straightforward and firm. She meant what she said and did it. She always strived for a higher education and loved to do missionary work. Sister Brown was a true friend to me and I will miss her. I pray that we will all be ready when Jesus comes. And if we remain faithful and obedient to God, we, along with her, will meet around the throne of God on that great day. I hope all will be there. So, sleep on my sister till time is no longer, and we finally behold the face of our master, the one who you shared so lovingly with others. Pleasant good morning to everyone. I met Norma Brown, better known as Yumi, in the year 1985, and from there, we created a bond. Yumi used to refer to me as her adopted daughter. She was very easy to talk to. She was a good listener. Things I could not discuss with my mom, I was able to have those conversations with her. I remember this one time when I decided to run away and knew me, talked me out of it, and was able to bring me back home. Then she had a conversation with my mom. Naomi had a heart of gold. No one is perfect. Everyone has their shortcomings. But she was able to make an imprint in my life. And for that, I'll always be grateful for you.